Hey guys, this is Henry and Rick, and we just got to this uh, house here we're going to be doing today. We're going to be testing the water, and uh, we're going to go through this whole step with you guys of what we do when we first um, get to a customer's house, and we uh, go through the process of checking hardness for the water. We're going to show you guys DI, the DI tanks. Uh, what we do with that so you have an idea of the process see you guys in a bit stay tuned all right guys welcome back and uh here we're going to be talking about uh what we use we use the aqua pro water tester and we're going to test the water at the customer's home we just got here uh, to the customer's home so basically we're going to take this off and see if i can do this without um and put water in here and then we are going to test it as you can see it's at zero right here so let's go and take a walk you got rick over here getting ready he's all getting ready getting this done so let's go ahead and head down to the customer's uh faucet and we're going to hook up to the customer's faucet get the water from there and here we go so nice little sign right here and we'll take a little bit of water uh, out of here and we're going to check the hardness here so just add that onto there and as you guys can see, it's at zero. And we're at 244. So we're at 244. So we see. See, so you can. 246 looks like. Sorry guys. Um, now, <clears throat> the process here is going through our van. So, let me put this down real quick. We're done with this. All done. And the process basically is going over here and inside the van we have um, the tanks and these tanks right here what we do is we have this coming out of the tank going into the tank so this hose right here is going to connect basically to the customer's tap and so we have about a hundred feet of hose there goes directly in this tank right here comes out and from that point, the water gets filled right here. Well, we already have water that's filled. So, if Rick, you want to hold this there, Rick? You bet. So, while I go and check the water, we're going to check the water inside the tank itself. So, go ahead, Rick. Take over. Hey, guys. Uh, back again. Uh, this is real simple. Tester. Our tester we use is uh, AP1. Uh, what Henry's going to do is he's going to get a sample directly from the tank. You just do a quick scoop, just like that, easy as pie. And you put the uh, end of the tester into the water. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get a close up look at that. You see the zero there. Now, ideally, you want it close to zero as possible, but it's not going to stay there. But anything under 100, you're golden. We have it at 25 right now. So we're reading 25, so we're and giving our customers spot-free rents. We use 200 gallons already uh, out of this tank. So this tank is now starting to come up. If you keep it under 100, um, it is going to be spot-free. So it's 100 TDS. And so if it keeps that under 100, it will be spot-free. So at this point, it's at... 25 so we know we have just a little bit more before 
uh, we need to change that tank out and put it onto another tank. So we have another 200, I'd say 200 to 300 gallons before we change the tank out. Exactly. But without sounding too technical for you guys, the 25 is 25 parts per million. Right. So you hear that terminology, which you will if you're using deionized water. So just give you guys a head up. That's exactly what they mean by parts per million. So Rick's the water guy. So he, he knows all about that. And um, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, we are going to be buying uh, a few other uh, deionized tanks, the smaller ones, so we can show you guys uh, what you use for uh, deionized water and a uh, water fed pole. If you didn't have this compressor, you didn't have, you know, this, you know, real hose here, uh, it's a simple setup to where uh, you'd be able to start. So we don't have the smaller DNI tanks, but we're gonna buy them for you guys. So uh, in a few, about a week or so, we should have those coming in and we'll show you the setup. As a matter of fact, what we wanna do is we wanna be able to put those tanks, uh, one in the front and one in the back between the middle of the big ones that we have here. And that will uh, show, that will have these last a lot longer because uh, the tanks that we're going to get are basically, uh, you could put your own resin in there. So we're gonna be able to change the resin, put some virgin resin in there and uh, it will last a lot longer and uh, there you go so we're going to be able to do that and uh, that should be on a future video uh, when we get them we'll show you the unboxing of them uh, which ones that we did purchase and then uh, we'll get started from there right and again guys don't forget to always invest in a tester it doesn't matter what kind it is as long as you have one then that way you'll have the confidence that the water that you're using is actually spot free so with that said guys and I, I will put i will put uh one of these testers or a few of these testers in the description where you guys can buy these from amazon and i'll have the link on there uh for these so i'll have that for you i'll put several of them on there for you guys you guys have a choice of which ones are the good ones and and purchase hey, henry let's them. let's get a bird's eye of the one that we use in case they might want to get it let me go ahead and show you this one here. And there it is. You don't have to get this one, just get one that you know that works and that you're comfortable with using. As you can see, the only thing that we did with ours, we pressed the button for on, button for off, the reading is in the window, and it's just that simple. So simple is better, smarter is better, so there it is. There you go. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, Put in the comments i i subscribe and let us know where you're from you know we we like to know where you're from i know you guys hear that all the time but you know it works so with that being said we really appreciate you guys watching our videos and until the next one peace peace we're out